So in this video, I want to talk a little more about our three-way transfer switches and what makes them so unique for adding an inverter or a power station to an existing RV electrical system. So I have some items here that I've developed to help integrate an inexpensive inverter into an existing RV electrical system. So the first one is our original model and it's a three-way transfer switch. So it has the ability to switch between shore power, a generator, and an inverter. The next one is the same as the first one. It's a three-way transfer switch, but it also includes a converter cutout relay. So what that does is whenever your inverter power is on, it will disable your converter or charging system so that you're not using the inverter to try to recharge the batteries, which essentially will just drain your batteries faster. So the third model here is just a two-way transfer switch with a converter cutout relay. So it can swap between shore power, your inverter, and it also will uh, disable your converter from charging while you're running off of your inverter. So all three of these have uh, 3D ABS plastic covers, which is pretty cool. On the inside, they include a wiring diagram. Um, I also include uh, printed instructions on how to wire them up. So in the internals of these, they have uh, quality contactors. All the wiring is 10 gauge, so it can definitely handle the 30 amps with no problems. Both the contactors are fused, so if there's ever an issue with them, the fuse can uh, blow and not create a safety issue. Um, it also includes European style DIN rail uh, terminal strips so they're very high quality. So wiring this up is fairly easy. Your shore power that goes to your load center will now be routed to the P or the primary input terminal so you have a primary line, a primary neutral, and a primary ground. Uh, the secondary which is the S terminals would be for your generator. They would go into the, the S line, the S neutral, and the S ground. And then your inverter will go into the D terminals, which D is for default. So the default line, default neutral, and the default ground. Then there's three more terminals that are for the output. So there's an output line, output neutral, and output ground. And that would tie back into your load center. Now, for the uh, three-way transfer switch with the converter cutout, that wires up exactly the same as this other three-way transfer switch, except your converter, there's going to be two terminals for it. So the uh, power coming out of your load center that currently feeds your converter will now go to the C1 terminal. And then the C2 terminal, you would wire that back to the converter. So whenever you're running off the inverter, these two terminals will open up through the uh, contactor so that you're no longer feeding power to your converter. Now the two-way switch, you only have two inputs. So you have a primary and secondary. The primary will be your shore power that used to go to your load center and the secondary terminal is where your inverter would hook up. The output then would run back to your load center. So if you notice this one only has one terminal for the converter cutout relay and this one actually feeds power to your converter so you don't have to come from a breaker to it. So the breaker is built into this with a 10 amp push button breaker. So for converters or battery chargers that plug into a wall outlet, we do offer this adapter that makes it easy to hook up your converter or battery charger to the transfer switch with a cutout relay. A two conductor wire is connected between C1 and C2 of our transfer switch and between the adapter to terminal C1 and C2. The electrical cord is connected to the converter battery charger 
and then the other end plugs into the wall outlet. So if you're interested in these transfer switches, I do sell them through my online store. I got the link to it below. It's at perfectcampers.com. Um, I do stand behind these, provide service. If you have any issues hook them, hooking them up, wiring them up, I'll be more than glad to help you. All you have to do is contact me through my email or call me on the uh, phone number that's on the contact page of my website. Now all three of these transfer switches are 30 amps at 120 volts. Now if you have a 50 amp 120 slash 240 volt RV setup and you would like a transfer switch with the converter cutout relay, just get a hold of me either here at YouTube or through my Perfect Campers website. Okay, so I guess that wraps up this video, so thanks for watching.